Hello students and welcome to Smart Kids Tutorials. Uh, many of you had uh, sent me a message asking uh, to explain how the marks would be allocated uh, for based on your internal assessment marks and the exams that you have appeared in uh, the year uh, academic year 2021 to 2020. So here is a small video that will uh, hopefully clear your doubts and explain uh, how you would be getting marks, your final marks and how that would contribute to your final percentage as well. So let's begin. So as per the Goa board, uh, what it says about the internal tests, since uh, you asked uh, uh, mainly about the internal examination uh, or the internal marks that are allocated. I will first begin with that. So internal tests, uh, what it says is internal assessment throughout the year irrespective of term 1 and term 2 would include 3 periodic tests of which the third one would be a creative one besides there would be practical work and other uh, activities that will also include end of topics or unit tests, exploratory activities or a practical project. Now this internal test which is referring over here, it says internal assessment throughout the year are irrespective of term 1 and term 2. Now you answer if you remember two uh, exams, one was your MCQ, okay, that was in uh, December before Christmas holiday vacation. Then you had a second one which you have upward, appeared recently, uh, which was uh, not MCQ but it had a one, uh, one mark question, two mark question, three mark and four mark questions. Uh, for your uh, uh, exams recently in uh, April. Apart from those, you had, if you remember, two other exams which were known as formative tests. These formative tests were one was held uh, in August and the other one was held somewhere in October. Apart from this, in the second term, that is after, uh, after January, from January onwards, you were asked uh, to probably, depending on your subject, you were asked uh, to uh, maybe uh, plan a project or make a project or probably write something as part of your internal assessment which your teacher asked for. You did a small project or maybe some exploratory activity depending uh, what type of things were given for you. Like in, for example, in uh, maths, like uh, you were given different topics on which you could probably uh, uh, get some questions and answer them. Okay. Depends from school to school, uh, the Goa board had allocated certain uh, guidelines as to what you need to follow while doing those um, projects or uh, activities. That created creative one okay, or uh, innovative test. So these three constituted of the internal examination. One, uh, that exam that you had in August, the another one, exam that you had in uh, the uh, September, October and uh, the third one was a project or assignment that you did in the second term, the, okay, in the second half of your academic year. So all these marks are taken together and these constitute your internal marks or internal assessment marks, okay. And we'll see how that is distributed uh, towards your final marks. Goa board has uh, divided in terms of allocation of marks into two parts, one is known as non-practical subjects and another one is the practical subject. So this would include something like math, social science, English, Hindi and a third language of your choice that is Konkani, Marathi, French uh, and, or Portuguese. Now how is internal examination uh, marks um, that are assigned by your teachers itself, those are 20 in case of non-practical, in case of all this. First term for 40, second term also was 40, okay, that you appeared for these two. These are straightforward, okay. You had 40 marks and these 40 marks directly will be counted towards your final. So, let's see, uh, and this total uh, comes to 100. Uh, let's take an example. Let's uh, take, for example, um, uh, maths, okay. Now, in case of maths, um, you had two exams that you had to appear of 20, uh, 20 marks each, okay. Uh, and plus you were given some project work to do. So all that will consider 20 marks. Then you had an MCQ to appear. That MCQ was a 40 marks. 
and now what you have appeared is also a 40 marks so let's say in your mcq you got only 20 out of 40 and in your second term you did very well and you ended up let's say getting 40 out of 40 okay so what will count is this 20 from this mcq and this 40 from your exam that you just appeared 40 plus 20 60 and let's say in your internal examination you got 18 marks so 40 plus 20 60 60 plus 18 would be 78 so you have got 78 out of 100 in match that is what it means for something like, uh, like uh, english hindi it will apply the same but for social science is different because social science actually constitutes of two sub other subjects that is uh, history and geography so for that i'll give you the breakup in the next uh, slide to see how you get because um, for social science it was not out uh, sorry for history it was not out of 40 but 20 so 20 for history 20 for uh, geography let's have a look here so 50 for history 50 for geography total out of 100 for social sciences now uh, when it comes to 50 marks irrespective of whether it is history or geography if you'll have a look here internal tests which are there there was 10 marks okay and the first term that you appeared mcq that was 20 then the second term which you appeared right now was also 20 20 plus 20 40 plus the 10 10 would include uh, the exam that you had in august september plus any assignment work which was given in history and geography that will consider now how you will break that all three into 10 marks we'll have a look in the next slide but this is for history geography uh, in case of um, languages and all part was mcq part was like theoretical uh, in the, so i'm not getting into the details here you wanted only to know the breakup of marks i'm focusing only the breakup of marks over here let's go to the next one here so these are the internal tests so first test internal test which was known as formative test which you appeared in august that can that consists of 20 marks second one which was in october uh, september late september that was of 20 marks okay and your third internal test as they want to call it or innovative test that actually includes any assignment that was given to you any project that was given that was also out of 20 marks so all these three they add 20 plus 20 plus 20 that comes to 60 and these they divide by 3 when you divide by 3 what what you get is average marks which is 20 marks so what they are going to do for your internal examination is take an average of it so let's take for example in this case uh, we'll take um, let's say english okay in the first test out of 20 let's say you got 16 in the second test uh, out of uh, 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 out of 20 let's say you got 14 and in the third test which is uh, includes your assignments or project work that was given let's say out of 20 you got 18 so here 16 here 14 and here 18 so average if you add all of them up okay and divide by 3 it will come to 16 that means you've got 16 out of 20 in your internals okay you've got 16 out of 20 in the internal remember 40 was for first term that was a, the mcq and in case of um, english it was part mcq and part theory and you also had uh, your uh, recently concluded uh, exam which was for uh, 40 marks so 40 plus 40 plus this 20 so if you have got let's say on an average 16 over here then that 16 will be added to whatever marks you got for your first term exam that was held in december and your second term exam which was held in april so this is how you calculate marks for your uh, subjects which do not have practical for the practical which is like would be for science it is different uh, marks segregation once again will summarize the whole thing first term 40 marks consisted of 90 duration that 90 minutes duration which was one and a half hour in the second term also it was 40 marks where the first term it was mcq second one it was purely theoretical one two three four marks questions were there and uh, for maths and science the duration was slightly increased uh, so ignore the 90 minutes it was not 90 minutes for all and uh, two internal tests were there uh, for uh, first term 
of 20 marks and second term also of uh, sorry uh, both these tests two internal tests that were there were carried out in the first term because one was in august one was in october so they were of 20 marks each in addition to that there was also uh, 20 marks for your innovative test which is for so all these on an average should come to 20 marks so 40 plus 40 plus 20 comes to 100 okay so i hope it's very clear how you calculate uh, marks if you know your internal marks then well and good uh, you will know you know how much you got in uh, the august exam and how much you got in the october exam only thing that you would not know is how much they would have given you for your project if your teacher has already informed you how much you have got then great you should know how much you will uh, should get of course you have not got your last paper once you get your last paper you should be you will be able to uh, calculate the breakup okay but this is how you get the marks next coming to practical subject so that would be for science Pract slightly different first term you had 40 marks which was for mcq in the second term which you answered just now in april that had only 30 marks so 40 plus 30 comes to 70 20 marks is for your practical exams okay uh, whatever you answer for your uh, journal for your neatness what uh, for your uh, up to date work whatever that was 20 marks 40 plus 30 70 70 plus 20 is 90 and 10 marks for your internal test now the, how this 10 marks you get based uh, because you also appear like other subjects for the same amount of marks uh, for science in for your two formative tests so we'll see how it comes to 10. So first test 20 marks you appeared, second test same thing and third test which was innovative which was either doing a project or assignment was also 20 marks. Total comes to 60 but in this case it is not divided by 3 but it is rather divided by 6. So when you divide it by 6 the average marks comes to 10. So you whatever marks you get let's let's say for example um, you in your um, uh, August exam you uh, out of 20 let's say you got 10 in the next exam uh, let's say you got uh, 15 okay in uh, the exam that you appeared in uh, September October sorry okay 10 plus 15 25 and let's say in your internal exam which uh, which included your uh, assignments and so forth also you had uh, you got 15 marks 15 plus 15 plus 10 that comes to 40 okay so 40 divided by 6 is what you will get your marks so that will always be less than uh, 10 marks so it's not a big difference it you will not end up losing a lot of marks because it's only out of 10 but this is uh, this this is the only difference between this um, science and the other subjects because it also has got 20 marks allocated towards your practical so 10 marks will be from these uh, exams and assignments that you uh, did uh, over the academic year okay so once again uh, we summarize it uh, first term consisted of 40 marks of 90 minute duration second of uh, 30 marks here the timing was i think increased year end practical of 20 marks okay uh, which was held in your own school and two internal tests in first term that is in august and october that year plus the uh, 20 marks for uh, any assignments and practical work or not practical work assignment or any project work that you were given all that uh, average they take out of 10 marks I mean, total should come only 10 marks and that makes up 100 40 plus 30 is 70 70 plus 20 is 90 and 90 plus 10 is 100 so this is how you get your marks for it I hope this uh, concept of allocation of marks for uh, the exams and the assignments that you did is uh, now crystal clear for you. If you still have doubts, then do not hesitate to email me at smartkidstutorials at gmail.com or you can even leave a message under this very video asking for your doubts and I will do my best in trying to answer if I have missed out anything. Come to the uh, channel and you can leave the message under this video if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel ask your friends and classmates also to do the same if you like watching this video do not forget to hit 
the like button and please share it with your friends and classmates who would also benefit uh, from this video just as you have okay thank you very much and uh, do not hesitate to uh, send me uh, leave a message or send me an email with any query that you have thanks once again